they have to shield the world from it so that they mm-hmm. can create their own narrative. And this is CCP 101. This is communist mm-hmm. 101. This is this is what the people in China live under every day. You know those people that you just said were like had to do exactly what they were supposed to do? That sounds like the citizen in China today. Not just the guy mm-hmm. working to say, "Hey, it's so great here." That sounds like the normal everyday citizen in China. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty it's pretty creepy, man. Yeah, if you want to see like where we are going as a free country, you can't just take example of CCP and people mm-hmm. lived there mm-hmm. for 70 years, mm-hmm. right? See, well, Chinese people never had a chance to vote for, for his own government. And you know, the, the trust level is so low that whatever they say, you need to think the opposite. Right now, like they're starting a new propaganda uh, campaign about like Japan is releasing the radioactive like waste water, whatever. But actually, you know, CCP has been releasing like way worse uh, through all the years, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then, but they just make those propagandas to uh, have, you know, this, like you said, the narrative so that they can just shift the focus of the people Mm -hmm. inside and outside. Mm -hmm. So they're both like propaganda. What really gets me upset is that you know that this is true, that this is all coming from the CCP just by when when you watch the CCP order these order our countries around and nobody say anything. Right. Like you've got our country who's going Oh, emissions, emissions. We have to get down our global emissions. We're all going to die. We're all going to die because of our global emissions. Then you got China just literally pumping the world's global emissions, you know, on purpose into the world. And then you say, okay, well, you're going to lecture us about emissions and you want us to eat bugs and live in pods and drive electric cars, right? Mm -hmm. So the next summit that you have with Xi Jinping, maybe, just maybe after 14 hours of bowing and begging when you get to get in front of him, Maybe you could say, hey, you know, those emissions that we, that, that uh, we are uh, driving down our people's throat. You might want to slow your emissions down to that. You would they would never dare do that because the CCP would come down on them so hard. And that's how you know they're bought because they'd never mm-hmm. dare to. They lecture us and they bow to them. 